Hey, welcome everyone in this lab development video about building a not a battle game. In this video, we're going to rework our uh, event trigger logic because I've uh, checked a bit to see why it was bugging and it wasn't triggering several events in a row. And regardless of how I was triggering stuff, nothing was triggering. So if I, even if I uh, fire like a test event doing just a print, with the 0 0.4, 0 0.7 and one seconds delay, it it triggers only once. So I guess we 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 cannot we can't trigger multiple events from the same multiple timers from the same event at once. So we're gonna we're going to we need to build that differently. So I guess. We're going to do it. We're going to store. We're going to store events here. Uh, this is going to be a bunch of floats like this. Uh, we're going to have a function. Do I have events? It's working to return a value. Is that greater than zero? Ah, we're going to do it this way. Mm, this is not going to be a variable, but a local variable. Uh, we can break. We can break that. We're going to... Like this. Yeah, as events. Oh, we can't be. Oh, this is going to be temp bool as events. The ability manager is just going to grab this. Set current timers. It's going to be that. So we start our timers here. We're going to see where we're doing stuff on that and we're going to clear this instead. We're going to remove that print. Maybe you didn't even have that one. So when we have an ability, which is going to, uh, we're going to start all abilities which currently have timers in a variable here and we're going to run through them in tick. Mm. This is going to be an ability maybe, this is going to be an act a list of active ability. Yeah, I think this is going to be a list of active abilities. We're going to add that ability in here. Uh, are we doing something on tick? No, we're not. Uh, we're just going to consume ability timers or events rather. Current events. We're going to put this in casting and we're going to simply ask first B uh, casting because it's, it's the cheapest way to, it's the cheapest, ch cheapest uh, check we can do in tick.
if we are casting, we're going to loop through all abilities. Uh, can we get the world delta time here? Uh, we can't even do that. Uh, maybe we're not going to do it here. Uh, we're going to loop through all their current events. How do they have? Do they have events? If they no longer have events, we're going to remove them from we're going to loop through that instead because we can't remove things from an array we are iterating upon uh we're going to remove by index it's going to be way cheaper if it no longer has events, we're going to remove that from the list of casted abilities. Oh, we can't do this. Yeah, we can't. So if it no longer has events, If we no longer has abil have abilities, I mean, we're gonna say that we're no longer casting. Um, we can say, is that greater than zero? And when we cast an ability, we're going to say that we are actually casting. So it's gonna fire that logic. We're going to loop through all the current events of that ability. Yeah, that, that's pretty. I really don't, I really don't like it, but we'll, we'll see. I'm not even sure that's actually expensive. So the idea here is that we want to set array elements of that array maybe we wanna no we don't this so the time we were here minus the world delta time delta seconds is that is if if this is inferior are equal to zero. If this is greater than zero, we'll just set this. If it's not, we'll say that it's equal to zero now. And we are we need to fire so maybe we can just do something like uneven fired is this is this still used no it's no longer used so we'll just add a print in here Oh yeah, I changed the damage dealt. It triggered three times. It triggered three times, so that's that's a that's something at least. Minus one. Why did it say minus one? It should have said two two in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep.
there is something that doesn't work in here, I think. Uh, we need to change something. So first we're gonna reduce the amount of damage that this does. Value two, you might have 20 here, change that. Uh, targeting, we don't, actually we're just gonna copy that effect, paste it here, paste it here. Uh, we also want to open the floating damage, floating text. I, we just wanna change something real quick. Yep. We just want that to be to move a bit away faster because it's clus it's clustering a bit. We're going to get rid of this and we're just going to make a curve in here. Yeah, like this. Mm, maybe like that. I just want to see, and yeah, and we want to make another change is that we want to have half footman, half something else. Because I only want one dude. I don't want both boards to trigger the ability. It will be easier to check what's going on. Oh yeah, it does trigger, that guy triggers it, triggers it as well because everyone got, everyone got the, that ability, I think, yeah. Uh, create ability. We're going to grab the name of the units, the row. If the row is equal to footman. Only if the row is equal to footman, we're going to add the ability. Yeah, that guy doesn't have the ability. It triggers three times in a row. So I think that's just an issue with how we're dealing with that here. A simple way to check this out will be to promote that to a local variable, temp timers. We're going to loop through temp timers. And if, yeah, I need to reduce the cluster here because I'm, ability, temp ability, uh, yeah. 
it was getting a bit annoying. We want to set that item in here. So we are looping through all the timers. Are the timers... Oh yeah, we are firing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got to check if this is not equal zero first. No, only once here. So we are reducing that. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to work. Let's check that out. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. My guys, ladies and gentlemen, I think we nailed that one. So, for instance, if we do this, Uh, we're going to look on the client screen. Uh, we don't have floating damage texts from auto attacks. Beam got wrecked. Um, so we have many things that are quite hacky, hacky or straight up uh, outdated. For example, in the in-game state and many things regarding the combat units and units in general, uh, we don't care for now. We'll, we'll be updating this as we develop new things for the ability system. Uh, so yeah, so next step I think is to do some kind of ranged attack, ranged ability with a projectile, and we're gonna expand from that. But I think uh, we're going to wrap up that video as we fix the bug. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.